it's your boy, Playtality Dan, back again with another stream. And today we're going to just talk a little bit about what's going on in FIFA right about now. And, and people are panicking right now. People are panicking right now. People are selling off all their cards. People are selling them all off. Do you know what? My squad, I don't think there's any point in me selling what I have. I don't think there's any point. Um, I've got a few cards that are usable, few cards that are metal, but it's not they're not too expensive. They aren't too expensive. Um, I'm not gonna get a load of coins for them unless they go back up. Um, I got Douglas Costa really low, so it's not as if I'm I'm losing out there. Um going for 6k. So yeah. A lot of these players I've got for very low. First owner, SBC, SBC, really low, SBC. See for me the sell off doesn't really relate to me. And however, if you are if you're trading right now, this could be the best time to go out and pick up cards because um the market is just insane right now. Um I watch um Nick uh trader what what's his Twitter whatever his Twitter, Twitter I say Twitter. Uh evening Sam, what are you saying, man? You're good. Um run the foot market, that's it. And he has this rule of um by picking up players um at, un, at about un, when they're under forty percent, and I think that's a really good rule. That's a really good rule to have because um, you can be comfortable with what you bought them at, and if they don't go up too much, you got them at a steal as well. But at the same time, that can really rebound. And I'd always advise just making sure you do that with players that uh, well, oh, why is it not changing? Oh, it's different for this one. Um, yeah, so yeah, run the foot. Yeah, that's it. Um, and I I would advise like he has that um, you should get the meta players, the top tier meta players, trade in those, and you can't really take an L there. You cannot take an L. I'm gonna just have a look at to see if and I got 200k, so I'm gonna have a quick look to see if there's anything going right now. It's just really low price, and between this kind of region for me because obviously I haven't got millions of coins. I've only got 200k, so we can see Dumfries here. Let's see how low he's really going for. Because I actually wanted to get this card. Um, if I could get him for about 20k, I know it's ridiculously low, but... Because look, he's at lowest 24k. So is it possible to get him at, at as low as 20, between 20 to 24k? If I can get him at that price, that is really good. And he's a good card. I think that's going to stay usable for a long time um and and he's only going to get more links with the dutch links i think that's not too bad i think tiago silva is someone you should pick up if you can get him for a low price for about 20k if you can get him for about 20k i'd say pick him up just because of the fact that i uh, see his price went up oh his price went up that might be because of the felipe oh it probably was a felipe uh sbc um, Sam, are you trading much on the market? Are you trading much? I don't trade too much, but I don't know if I'm going to do it on stream because it might take a while, but cards are going really low. And as someone myself that um, I don't really get me high tier meta cards unless I pack them or I can get them <laughs> in an SBC or something like that. Uh, I don't, I'm not able to trade. I don't trade, basically. Um, is uh, is he likely to get an upgrade? Probably not. Probably not. I think his price should be about 30 to 40k. And he's Brazilian. But now Felipe Anderson is available for about 40k and is very likely to get an upgrade. I think that makes him... Oh, 17k. Is he that low? Was he that low before? That's actually oh, I would have would I have got him. I don't know. Because I got Douglas Costa during my weekend league. But um yeah, right now, cards are met high like meta cards are just dropping in price. Um if you can pick them up, like they're gonna I feel like they're gonna drop again tonight. So not right now. Um, people are still playing weekend league. I think tonight, if you can get on, yes, Ali, 
welcome to the stream, bro. Nice to see you back. I think if you can get um, onto your your PlayStation or onto the app at about, let's say, after 10. I think after 10, 11, 12, um, cards will drop a lot. And if I pick up anything, I'll put it on the Insta and I'll, I'll let people know because I'm going to check the... I am going to check it at, at really late. So I'm going to try and see if I can snipe anything. Um, I think that'll be really interesting. Always, bro. Just finished studying now, watching my favorite stream. Oh, I appreciate that, man. And it's good to hear you're, you're studying, man. It's good to hear you're, you're getting your head in the books. That's really good to see, man, and hear about. Um, yeah, so I think I'm not going to pick up now. I think it. I feel like it's, the prices will drop more more so i'm trying to get rid of a lot of rubbish i have i just need to get rid of them i trade i've sold a lot of cards and then i did a few uh packs <laughs> got more fodder and it's just so annoying because i just want to get rid of them i just want to get rid of them all rashford dropped massively yeah no tons of cards man tons of cards um i'm going to quickly have a look at the felipe um because that card is something i saw and was just really interested in because his gold card was meta for that time period. So with the upgrade, this might may make him meta for the next few weeks, month, month or so. But the only thing is, he's going to get the upgrade. It's, it's highly likely um, he's going to get an upgrade. He's going to go through and get at least a round of 16. No, uh, it's, it's round of 16, isn't it? After the well group stage, after the group stage knockout round, the first knockout round, he's gonna get it there. Pretty sure it's round of sixteen. Um, tell me if I'm wrong. Um, yeah, and he's four star, four star, high medium. So right off the bat, that's what we need. That's what we like in a winger. Um, and then he's just completely metal. He's just completely low strength, but you can't have it. You can't. Everything can't be perfect. Um, he looks sick compared to his stats to to Dembele. Ah, that's a good. That's a good. Um. Comparison, actually. That's a very good comparison. He's got flair and the finesse shot, shot trait as well. And do you know what? I saw this card and I thought, yeah, if you can start him left wing and bring him into cam or your even striker, if you could bring him into that role thereabouts, I think he would be such a problem. I think if you can just get him as close to goal as you can, because I feel like, for me personally, I feel like having high tier meta players play so far wide, I don't really feel like they have that much of an impact on the game. I had Insigne playing left mid and he had such a small impact on the game, I felt like. He scored every three, four games. But then as soon as I moved him into a more central position, he was scoring goals. And I feel like this could be a similar thing with Felipe Anderson. Yes, yes, yes. Play Tality Jake. What up, my guy? What up? With a dead eye. Yeah, all right. So if... If it's up to, um, if you want my opinion on that, I'd say you should probably get him. Now, this actually makes Alexandra more valuable because um, obviously they're both Brazilian. Um, so if you actually wanted to get, I think Alexandra is overpriced, but I think they've done it because uh, Juventus are very likely to go through. They're very likely to go through. They're very likely to get to at least quarterfinals, semifinals. Um, so they've priced that at the potential it's going to get to a 90 plus um, uh, overall there. Yo, what's up? WHBO1425, 1425. <laughs> what up, bro? Welcome to the stream. Um, so yeah, I, I feel like if you can get him, go for him and change the rules. A UCL rare player. Cool. Yeah, I'll do it. If I get a Dead player, yo, I'll eat, come back, chat. Yeah, oh, cool, man. Appreciate that. Uh, UCL, rare player. We're going to open that up now. And then after we open this up, we are going to head over to look at some of the good objective cards we've, uh, the game's got to offer at the moment. Neymar incoming. Oh, don't gas me. I wish. <laughs> don't gas me. Please. My heart can't deal with that. Because then I'll see Brazil and then be like, nah, don't do this. <laughs> Let's see, what are we getting? What are we getting? Can we get something usable? Like, I don't really care if I can trade it. I just want to use it. 
Ah, it's trash. It's trash. It's trash. It's trash. It's trash. Neymar is still king, woo. Neymar is still king. Oh, okay, cool. Cool, we hold that L. We literally just gave away, like, probably that... What? <sighs> That squad of 11 players we gave up was worth more than that card. 100%. 100% worth more than that card. Oh my God. All right. So we've got two cards I really want to get. We've got the Road to the Final Carrera, which is so easy to accomplish. I might, if you can do this, go and get it. So easy. And we've got Silver Stars, which they've been doing every week. And I love the cards they've been putting out because they've been actually usable cards. They're actually usable cards. If you can get them into your team, you can actually use these cards. They're really good. Um, so I'm probably going to start off with Silver Lounge because I've got the Silver Lounge team ready, set up to go. We're going to start off with that. Actually start that. But let me have a look anyways. Let's go back. We've got that card. That is a good card, you know. That's a really good card. Uh, <laughs> that looks like a card you can sub on and use as a super sub. I need to see what his weak foot and his skill moves are because I'm guessing it's going to be something like two star, three star, something like that. Oh, don't scare me. No traits, but he has four star weak foot. Okay. Even though he's got three star skill moves, I think I could take that. Like and subscribe. Smash it, man. Come on. Um, we're doing re we're doing bits on YouTube at the moment. One of the videos got 1.5k views. It's massive, man. It's massive. So um appreciate the support. So I'm out. Watch out for the next videos and peace.